Friends say she made a final FaceTime call from there around 1 a.m. Monday morning, saying she was waiting for an Uber. No one has heard from her since. Tonight, candles flicker near a picture of Kathleen Moore as her friends and co-workers at Whiskey Wings in St. Pete pray for her safe return. Monday night is when I started reaching out to people like this is not like her. Nikki Whalen has been friends with Kathleen since they were 11 years old, a 20 year long friendship. They hung out all day Sunday, barbecuing in the day, then hitting a beach bar that night. Around 1130, Kathleen left Nikki's Largo home with her on again, off again boyfriend, saying she was going to his home in Newport Ritchie, telling Nikki she would pick up her car in the morning. I woke up Monday morning to get ready for work myself and realized that she wasn't here yet or had called me to like say, hey, I'm running late or whatever. That's when I was like, something's not right. And immediately called her phone and it went straight to voicemail. The 34 year old didn't show up for work or school. Her friends say that's not like her. So they called the Pasco County Sheriff's Office Monday night, who immediately searched the area. I appreciate you so much turning her phone in. Her cell phone was later found in a dumpster in Newport Ritchie by this man who says he's homeless. Investigators using it and questioning the last people who saw her hoping to find Kathleen. Somebody knows where she is or somebody knows what happened. There's more to the story. It's like her to leave her car at my house. It is like her, but it's not like her to miss work and school and to not contact me, you know? So when me not hearing from her, it's not her having her car there for days. It's me not hearing from her that I know something isn't right. Something something happened on Friday afternoon and into the night. Pasco County Sheriff's investigators searched the boyfriend's home on Carmel Avenue. Deputies followed up on another lead and looked for any clues in her disappearance at the Pasco County landfill in Spring Hill. Eight on your side has confirmed the sheriff's office has recovered more cell phone. Friends say a homeless man found it in the dumpster at a Walgreens near the boyfriend's home. It's hard because I want to have faith and hope that she comes home so I can hear her infectious laughter and hug her and let her know that I love her. Hard because we're now at five days. Jessica Brummett met more when they were both 11 years old. The last time she saw her missing friend was at a Thanksgiving family celebration. Please help me bring her home. I'm begging you, keep sharing, get her face out there. She is someone, she is important, her life does matter. And friends tell me Kathleen Moore made a final FaceTime call early Monday morning from the boyfriend's home, saying she was waiting for an Uber to pick her up. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office says this remains a missing persons investigation. They've not named any persons of interest. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office says they've searched her boyfriend's house near Newport Ritchie and a landfill in Spring Hill due to a possible connection with her disappearance. Before she was reported missing, Kat's boss at Whiskey Wings noticed something wasn't right. Kat wasn't responding to texts or answering her phone, which friends say is out of character. I called, it went straight to voicemail. So I knew that's when her phone was off. She was scheduled to be here at work Monday night. When she didn't show up or call, something was up. So um, I called the police first thing Tuesday morning. She's just the most energetic, full of life, positive person you could ever meet. She's just, she, she, she draws you in like that. That's why there's so many people that are worried about her. It's like you meet her once and you're just like, you're so drawn in by her positivity. At this point, they just want answers and hope they can be reunited with their friend and coworker soon. Kathleen Moore's close friends spent the day putting out these flyers, and they also even held their own search in this wooded area just a couple of blocks from where she was last seen. I'm told the effort will not stop until she's found. Please come out here, do the legwork, not just spread her name through the media. Let's get out here and find her. It's seven days. Looking for a sign or any little clue. They took everything except for the black rope. We're just trying to find her. We've had no answers. Um, I'm out searching the woods because I just want her home. Kathleen Moore's close friends comb through trash and debris. Could they be hers? Could they? In this wooded area on Seven Springs Boulevard Sunday afternoon, less than a mile from her last sighting. All kinds of stuff. Jessica Brummett says Moore is like a sister to her. And she's willing to do anything to find out where she could be. I'm keeping faith that she's still alive 
and I hope that everyone else does too and keep spreading her story. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office spent time last week collecting evidence from Moore's boyfriend's house here on Carmel Avenue. Friends say she made a final FaceTime call from there around 1 a.m. Monday morning saying she was waiting for an Uber. No one has heard from her since. Investigators tell us Moore's cell phone was found in a dumpster behind Walgreens, right across the street from where her friends held their search. Her life matters. Just because she's not an influencer doesn't mean that she doesn't matter. Just because she's not a politic does not mean that she doesn't matter. Authorities say Moore's boyfriend is not a person of interest at the site. As the memorial here on Carmel Avenue continues to grow, friends and loved ones tell us they're still struggling to make sense of the news they learned just a day ago. It's like kind of really setting in now. Those who loved Kathleen Moore say they're still grasping for words. She always kept a smile. She always had jokes, always loved everyone. That's why this is so hard to know that she had to face someone like him on her own. There was no one there to help her. Moore was found dead on December 7th, a week after she was reported missing. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office has charged her boyfriend, Colin Knapp, with murder in connection to her death. A memorial for Kathleen was held Wednesday outside of Knapp's home, which police say is close to where she was found. Those who knew her tell ABC Action News that they want this to be her legacy. I just want people to remember her, uh, to smile. We want everybody to continue to still love one another. She didn't care about no skin color or nothing. She loved everybody. <laughs> so continue to spread that kind of love. And in a stunning act of grace, as the family closed out the event, they prayed for everyone involved in this case. So my prayer is that we continue to pray for not only my family, but for the young man's family. We pray for him. And the family tells us there'll be more memorials and vigils for her in the coming days. They also say that funeral arrangements are still in the works.